your past is keeping you imprisoned. And if you're somebody who lives in the past and in the future only, neglecting the now, which is the only real time, then you are preventing yourself from being all you can be from living the life you'd say that you want. Thank you for joining me here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. And I would love to have you join me every month for a live chat by joining the Patreon program. And the link for that is in the show notes. So what am I talking about? Your past keeps you in prison. Your past is the beliefs, the thoughts, the feelings, and the actions that you had that brought you to the place where you are now. So my definition of fear is something triggers you emotionally you see something you hear something and you go back into your past without thinking without responding but just grabbing you're reacting to what was just triggered being afraid that that's going to happen in your reality now these are the words of mark twain i lived a long life filled with many worries, most of which never happened. Your past and your future are all made up. They're not even real. They never were real. How do I say that? Because when you go back in your past and you look at any event, you're not looking at the event. You're looking at your interpretation of the event. Your interpretation is what you're making up. Do you know that eyewitness testimony no longer carries the power and reliability it used to? Because if you have 100 people experience, witness an event, you're going to get 100 different versions one for each person who's a so-called eyewitness, has their own version, their own interpretation of what happened. People say they're afraid of change. Me, I've always been afraid of staying the same because that's staying stuck, because that's staying in the prison of your past interpretations. When I lived in a small town in Virginia and a friend of mine who's also, oh, he did mortgage and building and all that stuff. He called me and said, have I got a house for you? And I said, well, tell me about it. And he told me a little and then he said, I asked him, if I move there, can I come work with you? He said, yes. I was packed, hired the mover, and was out of that Virginia house in two weeks. Change brings possibilities. I repeat that change brings possibilities that living in your past can't. Your past keeps you imprisoned in patterns. They're belief patterns. And you can only create what you believe is possible. So you're turning off possibilities for something new. You're staying stuck in your subconscious mind, filled with all these programs you don't even know are running you. There's no way you don't stay stuck. Your life in this very moment reflects all the thoughts that led to the feelings, that led to the actions, or your lack of taking the actions that brought you to the place and the reality you're living in this moment. And what you're thinking and feeling and acting or choosing not to act 
is creating your world tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Your life is in your hands. And so long as you're living in your past, they're not even your beliefs. They're programs that were put inside you by your early caretakers. They're programs that were put in consciously. And there's all your observations of how the people in your family, in your world, live their lives. They're not your original thoughts and because you've been a because you've been living them for all your life for all these years you think they're true you think they're so true that they're facts they're not and you're going out putting those same energies out into the ethers where they become agreed upon by so very many people they become thought forms that you buy into and you're not even aware that you're doing that and that's why I say your past is your prison your future that you're creating now from awareness from awareness of your thoughts and beliefs and you get to choose what to think and you get to choose what to feel and you get to choose the actions to take all possibilities exist all of them and when you discover who you really are you're not your mind you're not your body you are awareness you are conscious awareness and if you're having trouble grasping what I'm saying read Deepak Chopra I'll put some books in here that explain it and you might need to listen to it as I did over and over and over and over again to comprehend to get into my heart what he's explaining or read Rhonda Byrne's latest book which is a couple of years old it's called The Greatest Secret and she's quoting all the teachers who have been teaching the same conscious awareness for years and years hundreds of years and if you go all the way back to the ancient Greeks, they were teaching it back then. It's not new age. It's old truth. You get to choose how to create your future in each moment. And until you live each moment in conscious awareness, it's not possible to do that. And by the way, on that end, speaking about how your early caretakers are putting all these programs into your belief system. Please, parents, be aware. Lobe, the prefrontal lobe up here where thinking and reasoning occurs. It's not fully developed until one passes through adolescence around the age of 25. So if you're telling your kid, how would you feel if you somebody did that to you or go to your room and think about what you did? They can't. And that's why they don't. And if they go to their room without understanding, they're not thinking about what they did or didn't do because they can't. Not because they don't want to, and remember to always come from your heart, not your mind or your brain. Because up here doesn't connect to the universal knowing. You can't manifest with your thoughts. You manifest with the feelings coming from your heart. Remember, for every five messages going heart to brain, only two go brain to heart. 
live in the present moment because it's all you have. Your present moment is where you're creating your future. And the people in your world, especially your children, are imitating you. You are their role models. And you will always be their role models until this part of their brain has developed. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me here today. And I want to remind you to join our Facebook group and go to our site for this show where you can listen to or watch any episode. And remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, each moment, because that's all you ever have is this moment and this moment and this moment.